Well, my students are at it again. Now they want to know how to put Twitter into their Edge Animate projects. So, here we go. Twitter in Edge Animate. I started, I cheated a little bit. I started with just putting a rectangle in here and I renamed it Twitter. You know, like clever, right? Okay. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get, um, let's see, I need to get my Twitter feed. I can get my own feed, I can get somebody else's, but just so you know where to find it, how to set it up. Go under your profile and settings and you'll see settings and we assume this is all filled out on the left hand side if you go to the very bottom it says widgets so we click the widgets and you can see that I have created a bunch of widgets I'll make a new one for you because I love you now let's do that create new uh, I want my friend LJ Thornton I want to I want part of what she does so L J and I'll make it the dark one there she is right there it's my friend because uh, you don't have a lot of choices so I went dark you can have a default to 600 I'm just gonna make it 300 and I'm going to go create widget and here it is and there is the code so all I have to do is copy that command a command C copy all right so I jump back to edge and I'll open the code window and I want to add some code I can do composition ready or composition complete but I'll go composition ready and I'm gonna create a var called the feed because I'm clever like that equals and open single quote close single quote semicolon in between those single quotes I'm gonna paste the stuff I got from Twitter and as you can see it's on two lines and it's purple not what we want so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this second line I'm gonna close the single quote add a plus sign and then I'm gonna to go to the beginning of this first line and I'm going to add a single quote as soon as I get there uh, sometimes this is why long ones are hard to do it's a little problem getting your cursor where you want it so there we go and note that it's still got a red dot we still have an error that's because over here where these particular single quotes are now if I had put this in double quotes I'd have the same problem with everything that was in double quotes so I need to escape so before that single quote I'll hit the backslash you do this before each one of these single quotes it's an escape in J JavaScript and there you go done excellent new line so what do I want to do I want to go sym dot dollar sign open parentheses open double quotes close double quotes parentheses dot HTML open parentheses note that I'm not going to put any quotes in there because we're going to put a variable in there not all that HTML close parentheses semicolon so where do I want to put that feed I want to put it in the div I named Twitter T W I T T E I Twitter and in here I want to put that variable the feed and you would think that would work but once again no you need to add the J script so I'm gonna jump over to jQuery.com click the download scroll down to the CDN or the content ne network content delivery network I'm just gonna copy this part from code to J script copy jump back plus from URL and paste <coughs> that looks right say okay now we can t test it command return and there it is tweets by LJ Thornton by the way if you want to click you can follow her on Twitter uh, she tweets to this you can tweet to her and that's it we're done go away